for the third time in a row. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look, guys. We want to remember a couple things. Um, in this example, they say that assume that the segments that appear to be our tangent round to the nearest tenth. So therefore, you guys can see that this is going to be a tangent line. Now remember, tangent lines. Tangent lines um, are come to a circle when they intersect the circle at one point, and also they create a 90 degree angle. And what's important about that is we see a 90 degree angle, so we know it's tangent. Therefore, we have a 90 degree angle and a triangle that includes a 90 degree angle. And if we want to find the value of x, you see we have a right triangle. And we can solve for that right triangle by using the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, I'm going to do 24 squared plus 10 squared equals x squared. Now, 24 squared I do not know off the top of my head. So I'm going to do 25, 24 squared, and I get 576 um, plus 100 equals x squared. So therefore, um, square root of 676 is 26. So I have 676 equals x squared. To solve for x, I take the square root of both sides. <coughs> x equals 26. So therefore, um, you guys can now see how to use the value from that. So the main important thing for you guys to take from this is that tangent, or tangent lines not only inter